Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to talk about Joey Barton leaving Rangers and I'll finally give my thoughts on that. We'll also talk about Martin Waghorn falling out with Mark Warburton and also Mark Warburton's alleged perfect replacement for Joey Barton. Stay tuned. <laughs> The first subject that I'm going to be talking about is the fact that Mark Warburton has fallen out with Martin Waghorn. The press are now saying that Martin Waghorn is going to move to Bristol City in January. Now, we don't know as of yet as to why these two have fallen out, and I'm sure it will surface eventually, but there are ideas been going around as to the fact that maybe it's Waghorn hasn't been starting consistently in the team, and due to the fact that he was such a presence in the team last season, maybe he feels hard done by. However, there's also an argument that maybe it's because Warburton's trying to push him out of position to become a winger slash flexible striker which I'm sure you can understand he wouldn't like. However, a lot of Rangers fans are stating on Twitter and Facebook that actually Waghorn hasn't turned up this season. Now you could argue that he had a bad start to the season due to the fact that he was coming back from an injury at the time. However, the only time that he has turned up for Rangers was when he scored a hat-trick against Queen in the South. Now he was a huge presence in our team last season and his scoring tally of last season was nothing short of phenomenal. However, that was last season against a lot easier teams and when he's been put up against bigger tests such as Celtic, such as Aberdeen, either he hasn't started, hasn't played or hasn't actually showed up when he has played. And it's an utter shame to say that because last season he was such a force for us. However, it could also be due to the fact that new ear inclusions such as Joe Garner and Joe Dodu mean he hasn't been starting in the team due to extra competition. However, with the fact that Warburton has now fallen out with Waghorn as well as Joey Barton, there is a big question as to what's going on, not just with the manager, but also with the club. It seems like in the news there's only bad press to report lately. It is a complete and utter farce surrounding Rangers, and you can't help but wonder why. Has Mark Warburton lost a dressing room? We all know what goes wrong if you lose a dressing room. You simply cannot perform as a team if you do not have the respect and the loyalty of the players. Now I'm not certain as to whether Waghorn will be such a key figure in the dressing room anymore, however with the players last season I'm sure they will have certain loyalties tied to him. Either way it would definitely be sad to see Waggy go in January. Now moving on to the hot topic, Joey Barton leaving. And I'm going to get it out there and say straight away I am absolutely gutted with the way that this turned out and I don't think there's a Rangers fan that isn't. Now when you sign a player like Joey Barton, Championship Player of the Year, Burnley Player of the Year, played for teams like Newcastle, Manchester City and was still a quality player when he joined Rangers, you couldn't help but get excited and hope for the best of the future to come with Joey Barton. He signed on a two year contract with us as well showing that he wasn't just here for a temporary season. So at the time I was incredibly hopeful as to his future and as to what he could provide for us. However we all know about the incident with Andy Halliday and Mark Warburton in training however we don't actually know what fully happened so I can't comment as to that. But what I can say is, now that he's gone, I am absolutely gutted that we've lost a player like Joey Barton. That being said, he never really turned up for us in the first place. He put in seven or eight poor performances, but albeit his best part of those performances was just a good ball here or there. He also built himself up in the press, um, making players like Scott Brown bite by saying, let's face it, Scott Brown is not in my league, I'm a far better player. Yet when he played Scott Brown, and we all know the scoreline, we lost 5-1. Joey Barton, pretty much from the word go, was completely and utterly shook. I've never seen him perform like that. He was slow, he couldn't catch his man, he couldn't really make a tackle. I seem to even remember him passing the ball back in the second minute and almost giving away a goal. Now, that pretty much epitomises his performances for me um, as a Rangers player, but what could have been, undoubtedly, is fantastic. However, when you sign a player like Joey Barton, given the history that he's had, He's a catalyst for any sort of bad behaviour, and that's a fact. He went to prison in 2007 for assault, um, putting his career on hold. That's when he left Man City for Newcastle, I believe. Um, he's also known to be fighting with his teammates, uh, even worse than whatever he did with Andy Halliday. And it, whenever you sign someone like Joey Barton, you know that there's a, a risk of running that risk, even. But his performances at Burnley... His professionalism at Burnley, I honestly thought that he changed. I thought he changed as a player. I thought he'd matured and grown up. That's why I was extraordinarily happy for us to sign him as well. When players tried to make him bite, when players clattered into him, deliberately fouled him, he didn't get up and mouth at the ref or mouth at the player as he usually would. He got up and carried on with his game. And that's what football's all about. And I literally thought that he'd improved as a player. However, he then comes to Rangers and it all just goes bottoms up again. You can't say you didn't expect it, but at the same time, it was nice to think. 
All in all, my conclusion is that I am utterly, utterly gutted and disappointed for what could have been. And finally, the media have been speculating that Rangers have a transfer target and ideal replacement for Joey Barton. He goes by the name of Diego Poye. Now, he's actually a player of West Ham United, but for the past three seasons or so, he's been on loan at Huddersfield, MK Dons, and currently is at Charlton Athletic. Diego Poye is 21 years of age, a young defensive midfielder, by no means a bad signing. However, does he add up at all to the quality of Joey Barton? I'm sure if we sign him, we'll be uh, set to find out, but you know, of course I doubt it. Um, but of course, this is just media speculation. It's yet to be confirmed, unless I've missed a beat, which is very, very likely as I'm just a fan. Thank you very much for watching this video. Obviously, it's been a hard one to film due to the fact that I had to talk about Waghorn and Joey Barton, despite the fact that we don't know uh, any details of the events that actually happened um, and has made them both want to leave the club. However, I do look forward to seeing whether Diego Poirier is just a rumour or an actual target for us. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.